You can read the rhythm of your opponent. Hey guys, I'm Leo Machida. I'm gonna go over the read mind. How you read the pace of the fight, how you can read the rhythm of your opponent, which is so important. Because all the technique that you're gonna apply only will work if you have the right timing and the right distance. Otherwise, you're gonna like struggle somehow. So the first thing is, you can switch side. For example, most of fighters, they know how to use the karate point and they, they come with the habit sometimes to, to bouncy, to bouncy, 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 to figure out the right time. But also, as soon as he has the chance, I have the same chance as well because if I read that before, for example, bounce, 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 one, two, three, four, five. See, I kind of count this, this bounce here, and I can use all the techniques. Same thing. One, two. I have to get him when he's out of the ground. A little bit, little bit gone. Yeah. When he's out of the ground, I have to catch him right away when he's out of the ground. One, two, three. Pa. One, two, three. Pa. One, two, three. Pa. You see? That's, I have to figure out that during the fight. So I have to read everything during the fight. Because if he starts to bounce, 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 I have to read that movement and use all my combination, all my techniques that I believe in the distance. If I'm a little far, I should kick. If I'm a little close, I should use my hand. That's important to understand. So this is just one type of training that you, you can do to improve your skills, your technique. The other way is to understand how to be ahead of your opponent. How to be ahead of your opponent, because during the fight, someone isn't ahead all the time. Who is ahead of the fight has an advantage over your opponent. Why? Because, for example, if Thomas moves to the side a little bit, he's already there. And I'm kind of, I have to adjust myself. When I adjust myself, who get there first? He got first. He has the time to attack me. That's one time, one pace, one rhythm that you have to read, okay? For example, he moved to the side. He's already there. When I start to move, he can catch me now. Boom. Why? Because I delay my movement. He's ahead of me. One more time. As soon as I realize he moved, then I move with him. Then we get there almost together. But if I know this technique, I'm one step ahead, even though we get there almost in the same time, but I'm still ahead of him because I know the technique. He just doing that instinctively, and I doing that consciously. It's a completely different thing. One more time. He moves, then I, I adjust myself. That's the right thing to do. Now I'm, going, I'm doing the wrong way. He moves. Then I move, he catch me. You see how he catch me? Why? Because I delay my movement. One more time. Now, I want to use the same strategy, but I move ahead of him. I start the movement. I start the movement. He stayed there. I start the movement. Then he's going he's gonna to adjust. Yes. One more time. I start the movement. He's going to adjust. It. Now I kick him. I kick him in the right rhythm. Why? Because I make him uh, follow my rhythm instead of I follow his rhythm, which is so important. So during the fight, if you notice that, you see who has more chance to finish the fight. Why? Because that happens a lot. But what can happen too is one moment, Thomas can be ahead of me. In the other moment, I can be ahead of him. It's like a fight if he knows the technique. If he doesn't know the technique, for sure, I'll be ahead of him. Even though if he's ahead of me, for example, he moved to the side, and I notice he's already there, I'm going to create the distance. I'm not going to go here because he's going to catch me here. Stay there. I'm going to create the distance and adjust again because I already know the technique, which is so important to understand every single step about the pacing 
and the rhythm and how to read the mind of your opponent.